Your thoughts on two well-played games here at Madison Square Garden? Yeah, I think coming back down to nothing, we, we knew that game three was huge. And, uh, you know, I thought we came out great today, got a, got a nice lead there and, uh, you know, played well. I thought we didn't sit back as much as we did in, uh, you know, that other game when we had the lead. But, you know, they're going to get chances, obviously, in the third being down uh, a few goals. But I thought we did a great job and uh, obviously got the big saves when we needed them too. Yeah, a lot of good things happened for your club in that first period, starting with that first power play where you had really good possession. What, what's been the difference in the last couple of games in your power play? Uh, well, I think the biggest thing is once we get set up, I think, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you saw in that game too, we kind of had trouble setting up and uh, caused us issues. And, uh, you know, I think once we do that, we can move it around pretty well. And, uh, you know, like we've said all year, a lot of threats out there. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And then once we do that, uh, you know, we have success. So you run it from the back end, and yet you get a deflection right at the hash marks from your, your partner. Just walk me through how you find yourself in that position. Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a, a broken play. Uh, you know, a good job by by Crides and Copper on the four check mm -hmm. there. And, uh, you know, I cut in, I saw saw the D-man take me, and I kind of knew Copper was going to hit Lindy coming late. And uh, I can't say it was too much skill on the deflection. <laughs> uh, good shot by Lindy. It was probably going in for him anyway, so I might have stole one. But, uh, yeah, just tried to get to the front and cause a little traffic and got a bounce there. And I was very impressed with your partner's response at the end of game three where he just he took the hit but right away went back after Domi and I know you guys are pretty close and we've talked an awful lot about your partnership but always have, having him back in the lineup helps yeah it's huge uh you know I've never I've never seen him back down so uh you know I could always expect a, a good response out of him but I mean I think he, he sends a message I think uh you know we we don't want to be a team that backs down obviously he's a He's a guy who will, you know, go to battle, put his, uh, you know, face on the line, and, uh, you know, he's not going to take anything from anyone. So, uh, you know, obviously it's a, it's a pleasure for me to, to play with him and obviously gives a jolt to the whole team. So you're 11 games really into your NHL playoff career coming off a of Norris Trophy season. What do you know now that you didn't know 11 games ago? Uh, I think just the intensity. I think, uh, you know, there's – I think we've learned – Myself, especially, you know, the swings, uh, mm -hmm. you know, being on, being at home, being on the road, how much the crowd influences it. But, uh, you know, we, we don't like to talk too much about that bubble, but I think it gave a little uh, glimpse into it, the intensity that it's, it's going to take. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fun playoff so far. And there were two well-played games we talked before we came on in Carolina. What will be the key then just pushing it over the line down there? Yeah, I think we got to play that same way as game one. Uh, you know, I think when we were able to create chances and, and move around and, and uh, you know, get loose in the offensive zone, I think that's when we have chances. Uh, you know, like I said, when you're on the road, the crowd's going to get into it, especially there. they got a, a pretty good crowd that likes to get into the game. So I think just managing that and, uh, you know, I think for us that's when, that's when we've had success on the road. You know, there's a lot of same old songs about your team, your resiliency, and the save that the goaltender makes, and he makes a big one on Petchy early. How important was that? Yeah, he made a big one there. Yeah, I know he made a, a big one in the second. I can't remember who it was on when we were up 2 nothing. But, I mean, those are the saves that, uh, you know, obviously they're big saves, but they're, they're big saves to, you know, keep a two-goal lead, you know, in the, in the second period. And, uh, you know, we, we've, we've talked about him all year. We right. will continue to talk about him. He's, right. been, he's been our backbone. But, uh, you know, when, when we need big saves, he's there. And, uh, you know, obviously a, a huge, huge part of our team. Well, listen, the top guys came to play. You're one of them. Good job. Congrats, and go get them in Carolina. Thank you. Appreciate All it. All right. Good. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it was a big hit and obviously kind of changed the course of the game a little bit um, with them taking that penalty and us capitalizing. I think uh, Foxy had some great patience at the at the uh, blue line there and kind of was able to outweigh that guy's stick and get it over and kind of saw Frank going, going back door. And it's kind of something we had uh, obviously – Bred kind of the exact same pass to, to make it for the goal last game. So, um, you know, with, with shooters like Mika and Frank, we got to get them the puck as much as possible. Andrew, th this game, if you look at it, the way you got produced offensively, defensively, seemed pretty tight, and Igor came through winning you two. Did this feel in a lot of ways like maybe the best game you guys have had in these playoffs? Um, I mean, I think you can look at the scoreboard for sure. I think we've played some really solid games, um, you know, as well. I think. You know, the everyone's kind of contributing and has been, you know, over the course of the playoffs. It's not just one line. It's not just, you know, one deep pairing. It's kind of throughout the lineup making, you know, maybe it's not on the score sheet, but the little plays, the little chip outs, the block shots, the, the face offs, the battles in the corner, the battles at the blue lines to get pucks out and pucks in. So um, I feel like today was a, a, a good effort again from our team. I think we've played a pretty good series so far and 
um, you know, just trying to build off some of the momentum that we've created in these last two games. You talked about staying even keel no matter what the result is, but coming off a performance like this, can you build on that? Yeah, I mean, I think we're confident. I think, um, you know, staying even keel is was important after the two games in Carolina where, you know, they're, both games are kind of right there and, you know, maybe we didn't produce as much offensively, but we did a lot of really good things. So now, you know, we, you know, get two games where, you know, we, we win, we play well, we only give up two goals total. You know, now the, the reverse of the talk of you guys is, is on them now. So um, we just got to, you know, kind of block all that out and just stay with, stay with our game and continue to, you know, now guys are feeling a little bit better about themselves. And, um, yeah, we got to ride this momentum into Carolina. It seems like the momentum has been special teams and your goaltender. Is that fair? Uh, yeah, I mean, the physicality of the hit today by Troops definitely. Um, I mean, Igor has been great. So that he, he changes the game for sure. And that first save um, when it went off Hoda Pesci, that was, that was elite, elite goaltending right there. So, um, yeah, that can be really, uh, you know, deflating for, for a team against. And then, yeah, I think both special teams have been pretty solid. So I don't know if you can just point to those. There's so many things throughout the game that can kind of continue with momentum or, or cause it to swing. But, um, you know, we've been ahead of the, the game flow here the last two games, I think. Do you embrace playing from behind in a series or being behind in a game? Is there something about the makeup of this team that allows you to respond better? It seems like it. I mean, um, although I think we handled when we were up, I guess we haven't really been up in too many games or up in the series yet, so uh, in both series. So we'll see how we, uh, if we ever get that, we'll see how we handle it. But uh, I think we handled the lead pretty well today. I mean, I think they pushed hard and we were maybe a little bit on our heels in the third, but. Um, you know, getting that fourth goal to kind of alleviate a little bit of that pressure was huge for us. And um, but I think the, the never die mentality has been in this team from day one, and I've kind of felt that from from walking in a couple months ago, and feel like the the new guys have kind of fit right into the, that mentality. And um, there's a lot of belief and confidence in there for sure. What is the building done, the lift that you've got seen? Yeah, it's great, especially, you know, scoring first and, you know, Igor making some big saves. It, um, you know, makes the momentum all that much more uh, prevalent just with, with, the, with the sound of the crowd and how into it they get. So uh, that's been huge for us, you know, every home game that we've had here.